All of those flags are waving are Dale Earnhardt's souvenir flags with the number three, the black Chevrolet, and Earnhardt's trademark signature. One was given by the Speedway to every fan entering the track today. Well, it's quite a tribute to Dale. Uh, there's just, there, I'm sure everybody said it over and over again, but uh, that man will be truly missed, not just this weekend, but for the rest of our racing careers, no matter what part of the sport we're involved in. We'll describe 392 of these laps today, but on the third lap of this and every Winston Cup race Fox will broadcast this year, we'll lay out, let the sound of the cars and your memories carry us around on the third lap of every race. Lights are out atop the safety car. This will be the start of 400 miles from Rockingham. Race two of 2001. These crew chiefs are telling their driver now, you got a green racetrack, no rubber down, fill it out, see what you got. Be patient, long way to go, big picture. Pace car is in. Green flag, we're racing. Dropped right in single file, but Tony Stewart challenged Ricky Rudd and moves up to third. Oh, we got trouble, trouble already. Three cars, it's four Dale cars. Junior. It's Dale Jr. Earnhardt Jr. with Jimmy Spencer, Kenny Wallace, and Mike Wallace. And it is Earnhardt Jr.'s car who comes to rest against the outside wall oh, this, at turn four. This cannot be happening to that young man. Kenny Wallace goes to the garage, Mike Wallace to pit road. And from the last lap of last Sunday to the first lap of this. He seems to be composed though, Mike. He's uh, talking to his crew and I'm sure he's trying to assess the damage. And uh, what do they want him to do? They can probably actually see the car better than he can. From what we can see, it's he can climb out. It's pretty serious, yeah. Took a pretty hard hit on Lick there, you know, got got the wobbling going into three over there. I don't know if somebody got into him and have to take a look at it and see, but up the hill he went. Bernhardt is okay staying in the car to talk to his crew on the two-way radio. Here's what happened as things bunched up. I'm not so, I can't tell until we look at it one more time, but Hornaday might have got into the back of Junior. And of course, all these other guys didn't have any place to go. Here comes Hornaday. Let's see what happens here. He's coming down the back. It's Junior right in front of him. I'm sure everybody's being real cautious, real cautious. Oh, oh, oh. oh. yeah. Of all oh. things. Everybody trying to tiptoe into that corner. Yeah. Of course, Kenny Wallace there in the white car, just nowhere Good. to go. These guys the are side. all just caught up in it and can't nowhere to go. They're bunched up on the start here, and poor Kenny Wallace uh, searching for a sponsor. And here's Junior and. Go outside. Chances are they may take the garage here and assess the damage, but then there you go. That what they've got there, that's that's a crash cart. It's got a lot of spare parts and pieces on it. This early in the race, this race is three and a half hours long or longer. They get back there. They can change a lot of things on that car, get it back out there. Let's remember Dale Earnhardt Jr. is second in the points coming in this event still early, so they need to run as many laps as they can to get as many Winston Cup points as they can. So they'll get in there and try to fix this thing. Here now, 95.7, which is WKML, FM Fayetteville, or 94.7, WQDR, FM.
chance to honor Dale Earnhardt with a silent lap three. Proved all too silent with the crash at lap one. There's Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s car, and we all so hoped that that young man could turn his focus and attention and, and, and have a clean race today. Yeah, and you know what? Every driver in those cars that are going by, looking up at that car against the wall, I bet a tear come in their eyes. You ride with Michael Waltrip behind Brett Bodine as we go to break. Four laps are now complete. You're watching NASCAR on Fox. Trout. Matt Yoakum. Well, Mike, Dale Earnhardt Jr. has stepped out of the infield care center. First off, are you okay, Dale? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, everybody home, I'm doing all right. No big deal. Uh, just tight. Go racing, get down into three. Uh, the four car pulled down in front of me, and everybody checked up, and I was checking up, and somebody didn't. So uh, it's tough. You know, we really had a good car. wanted to do good here, um, get the year started off right. But um, had to go to the garage, see if we can get it back out there. Let's go to Jeannie. Thanks, Matt. Raised eyebrows, a couple of head shakes, and a deflated attitude from the seven pit crew, and not until they noticed their car. All that a reaction to what happened to Junior out there. Seven car made its way in, and it's hanging in the garage right now. The big issue, the radiator. They're going to need to change it to get them back out here. 